Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have some really exciting news on Fidelity FX Super Resolution coming to the next generation consoles and the entire line of AMD GPUs. Now, yesterday at Computex, AMD announced that Fidelity FX Super Resolution is coming out on the 22nd of June. Now, this will now be known as FSR, and I gotta say, it's a lot easier to say. Now, this is AMD's answer to NVIDIA's DLSS, and I'm really excited excited that this is finally coming out later this month. Now there are a few differences between the technologies. Now they're both an upscaling algorithm but NVIDIA uses AI through their tensor cores and AMD is not using it. They're already using a trained algorithm to do the upscaling. Now in practice I do believe that DLSS will have a slightly better image quality. Now it doesn't really matter at the end of the day when you're getting double and in some cases up to a hundred and forty percent increase in frame frame rates. At the end of the day, if both image qualities are very close, I don't think it makes a huge difference. Now I think this is going to make a huge difference on the consoles. Now there's a lot of console games that are running at 60 FPS, 120 FPS. I gotta say that most games are not really running at 30 FPS. Now the titles that do tend to run at 30 FPS on these next generation machines is the ones that have ray tracing enabled. Now FSR will allow you to have higher frame rates in games that are running ray tracing. Now AMD did a demonstration with their 6800 XT and with Godfall with ray tracing turned on. Now as you can see you have a whole host of presets that you can choose from. You can choose the quality preset as well as a ultra quality preset, a balance preset and a performance preset. Now natively it was getting 49 frames per second. Now when you choose the ultra quality you were getting 78 frames per second, 99 frames per second on the quality preset, 124 on balance and 150 FPS on performance. Now as they're marked, performance will have the lowest image quality, but you'll get the highest frame rates. Balance, as its name says, is a balance between performance and quality. Now I do believe that most gamers will choose the quality preset. So I can say on average we should expect a 50% increase on frames per second when this technology is enabled. Now this will be on both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Now let's use Watch Dogs Legion as an example. Now, on the next generation consoles with ray tracing enabled, this game runs at 30 FPS. Now with FSR, it has the potential to run at 60 FPS. Now for non-ray tracing titles, this will also benefit those games as games that are running at 60 FPS now have the potential to run at 120 FPS with little to no difference in image quality. This technology is really going to benefit these next generation machines. Now say you have an old laptop running a GTX 1060. This will also be enabled on that laptop if the game supports FSR technology. If you have a GTX 1080 on the PC, you can also use this technology on it. You can use it on the entire RTX line of graphics cards. I really have to commend AMD for allowing this to be open source. This will allow for adoption to happen a lot quicker as you don't have to jump through all these hoops developers will get more experience with it and of course it will be widely adopted I have to say I'm really excited for SSR on the next generation consoles now I own a 6800 XT on the PC and with ray tracing turned on I don't get the optimal performance I would like on that GPU now with FSR I could get 60 and above with ray tracing turned on so I can't tell you enough how exciting this technology is finally DLSS has some competition from AMD's FSR and I can't wait to see it in action on June 22nd now in closing I gotta say once again this is really exciting that it's coming to the next generation consoles now I do have a few questions left now Microsoft is said to be leveraging Microsoft ML or direct ML which is their machine learning now they do have some accelerated hardware that is inside the series X that can leverage this technique now it is quite possible that FSR on the Xbox Series X could leverage machine learning and in essence make it truly closer to DLSS. Now I don't really know too much about this to be quite honest with you guys as Microsoft hasn't really said much on the topic. Now if they were to be doing something I do believe that E3 would be the perfect place to announce this as FSR is coming out on the 22nd of June. Anyways I wonder what you guys think about all of this. Are you excited that FSR is making its way to the next generation consoles? Are you excited that it's finally coming 
coming out later this month and do you think that the consoles will benefit the most from using this technology? Let me know in the comment section down below and like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.